Jojo Siwa's bad girl era is being called out for flopping and her being fake. She just admitted why she's done this, and it's super telling. Jojo Siwa has managed to stir up quite the controversy on social media. After footage from her recent concert went viral, a lot of folks think that Jojo might not appreciate or love her fans the way she should. Yup, you heard that right. After verbal abuse, Siwa has now resorted to physically assaulting her fans and the question on everyone's mind is why? Why would an artist bash someone who is the reason behind their success? Well, fans think there's only one answer, and that's, Jojo doesn't like her fan base. In fact, she might just resent them. It's still unclear why an artist as big as Jojo would hate on her own fans, but if she keeps this up, she might end up with no one in her corner, because let's be real, no one wants to obsess over someone who can't respect their fans. Just what happened? Does Siwa actually hate her fans? If so, then why? Let's find out. Did you all hear the one about Jojo Siwa stopping her New York City show to yell at a fan who dared to boo her? Jojo Siwa was performing her set at RuPaul's Drag Race legend Trixie Mattel's Pride concert when she went off at a fan who was not enjoying her music. Why? Well, because during the performance, someone in the crowd started to boo the singer. And that's when things went south. Jojo didn't just let it slide. Instead, she stopped her show and went on to call out the person in question. The show looked great, but one person boos her and she stops the show? Say it with me, y'all, because I am cringing with secondhand embarrassment. And it looks like that person really pressed JoJo's buttons because she went ahead and cursed in front of everyone. And if that wasn't enough, she even went ahead and gave the crowd a middle finger. Of course, the video of the incident ended up online and JoJo was dragged and canceled for her attitude. According to fans, JoJo took things a bit too far and should have just ignored the hater like other celebrities, but instead she took it personally and behaved rudely. She literally lost her marbles for a little bit, and you just gotta see what she said. Who the living just booed me? Moreover, fans think that JoJo wasn't open to criticism, which isn't quite like an artist. I mean, there were other artists performing as well, and it's not like they created a scene. Respectfully, f you. And if you think it stopped there, well, then you're dead wrong. Things took a very wrong turn when one of her fans from the crowd threw a bouquet of flowers at JoJo on the stage. Jojo picked out a flower from that bouquet and proceeded to put it in her pants. And then after this, someone threw a bouquet of roses up on the stage. She put one in her mouth and then put it in her pants and stuck her tongue out like this. I mean, Jojo definitely made sure to make the event not family friendly because the way she was acting on stage was straight up inappropriate. What's more, Jojo kept on putting her hands in her shirt and pants, touching herself through the entire event. And that's why fans have been led to believe that Jojo is in fact the biggest hater when it comes to her fans. I mean, as an artist, one is always open to criticism, and fans are allowed to give their reviews. Sure, booing someone may not be the way, but Jojo's reaction was totally out of bounds. It seems like she can't take criticism at all. A lot of folks think that she crossed a line when she went on to curse and insult her fans. And on that note, let's talk more about Jojo being a hater. A few days back Jojo was performing in Los Angeles and was recorded using the F word way too many times on stage. What's more, Jojo proceeded to ask for a vodka bottle from the crowd and continued to chug it in front of everyone. Jojo was then seen touching herself inappropriately on stage, and fans weren't exactly pleased. One person wrote, Jojo Siwa making drinking her entire personality, but she doesn't even drink the stuff that she's holding in the videos is so weird. And then during her performance in London, the singer thought that it was a perfect time to address the hate that she'd had been receiving online after her song Karma was released. Jojo threw some pretty intense insults, and she covered it all up by saying that she was allowed to do so just because she was in England. I gotta talk. We're in England. I can say this word because they're sassy. I say, write your own song. For those of you who don't know, her recent song Karma has a bunch of girls dancing on a yacht. Now that's not what pissed fans off. Instead, it was the questionable outfits and dance moves. 
And it looks like those comments really got to her because she brought it up during her interview with Billboard saying, the internet has taken me through the freaking ringer. She further added, but at the end of the day, I made the art that I wanted to, and I'm so happy, so proud, so excited to bring this version of pop music back. And on that note, fans had a lot to say about her London performance as well, including the fact that she wasn't even singing her songs while she was performing. She was just there, lip-syncing to pre-recorded tracks. How do they know? Well, at one point, Jojo forgot that she was supposed to be lip-syncing and placed aside her mic while she was performing and that's when fans figured out her secret. I need someone to let me know why Jojo C was in the music industry because this video from her first performance proves that she's not able to sing because the whole thing is lip-syncing. Watch this. Like, she's not even trying. And guess what? The girl got some serious hate after she was done with her London performance. The entire internet bullied and dragged Jojo for her performance, and we can all safely say by now that she's not too good when it comes to handling hate or criticism. Jojo said, you guys aren't the D-words online. Not going to lie, I have to deal with a lot of them online. She further added, I woke up this morning and as one as I opened my phone and the first thing that came up was a picture of me performing back when I was in London a couple of days ago. She said some guy, I stalked his page. He was definitely straight. This guy commented and it was a new comment for me. She further added, it wasn't about a dance that I do. It wasn't about my hairline. It wasn't that I'm a 5 foot 9 giant toddler. She continued that the comment said, this man needs to be stopped. Now it's no secret that JoJo's concerts haven't been as fun as they were back in the day. It's all explicit content and her ranting out about all the hate she's been getting online. So of course fans get bored. And that's why fans were quick enough to point out JoJo's audacity for calling fans out for not making enough noise during her concerts when she's the one who does 15-minute long rant sessions. And that's all for today. What do you think about this situation? Does JoJo actually hate her fans? Will she be addressing the situation? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.